welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're gonna to do just a brief little tutorial. We're gonna be using KDE Neon because that's what's in my VM right now. But what I want to show you how to do is how to run a package in a custom theme. Why might you want to do this? Well, I actually had to learn how to do this for my uh, Raspberry Pi experiment. So I will have this video out here in a week or two where I am attempting to do my regular day job on just a Raspberry Pi to see how it works. And uh, I do like looking at some of the dark themes and some elements, but there's some applications that just are horrendous on a dark theme. The biggest one for me was evolution. Evolution is so bad on a dark theme that it's pretty much unusable. And so I was like, well, how can I do that? Well, it turns out that there is a way to get an individual application to work on a separate theme. Now, according to some documentation, this might just be a temporary thing. It's considered a debugging process, but hopefully it sticks around for a while. But I'm going to show you today how we can pull this guy off. So here we are over on our Plasma desktop. This is the latest KDE Neon. Of course, there's some updates it would like to install. I'm not going to worry about that. So we'll start out. Bluefish is one of the applications that I use in web design. And so I wanted to go ahead and have a look at what this guy looked like. And um, of course, you can see in the dark theme, it's probably usable. You might like it that way. But, you know, um, for me, I want my I want like my email, I want my main text editor, I want those to be uh, light themed, not dark themed. And so that was really what the what the problem was. So let's have a look at the themes installed here. We have Breeze, Breeze Dark, and Breeze Twilight. So here is your Breeze. Of course, everything here is light. We have a light panel. And for me, the light panel is probably the worst of it all. Uh, we have, uh, let's see what Breeze Twilight looks like. Here we have a good mixture. This would actually be a, a pretty good mixture, but you can still see we have light on all of your windows. We have dark on the panel. That's fine. But what if I want to run dark pretty much everywhere? Because I like looking at the dark, but then I need to run a few applications inside of your uh, just inside of your uh, your light themes. Well, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to do this. Now, you'll get the application, but not necessarily the window borders. So it kind of gets like a Linux Mint type look. So we're going to need to boot up a terminal to do this, uh, just because eh, particularly on KDE, you have the issue with, um, uh, with Dolphin not liking to do anything root. So let me zoom this guy up so you can kind of see what I'm doing. First thing what we're going to do is um, just have a look at your, your current directory. We are in our home directory. And there is a directory in here called local. It's dot local. And inside here, we have a share. So we'll go into our share. And then there's a lot of different things in here. This is where you can do some overrides in your system. So anything out there that does some form of overrides, you can go ahead and do. Now, what we're going to need to do here is we're going to make a directory called applications. What this is going to do is this is going to now give us a folder where we can override desktop files. So on Linux, wherever you have your menu items here, these menu items are in here based on the presence of desktop files. And so these are found at uh, USR slash share slash applications. So if you go here, you can see we have all these different desktop files. So what we're going to do here is uh, we want to find Bluefish Editor. It should be in here somewhere. I think it's just called Bluefish. I didn't see the top, though. Oh, there it is right there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this Bluefish desktop to our uh, to our home folder because this is going to allow the menu override. Since this is a system file, we need to do this as sudo. So we're going to do sudo and we're going to copy, which is CP. And then we're going to grab our bluefish file and we're going to move this to slash home slash. Now neon in my case is the name of the user you are working with. In this case, I built this VM just with the username neon. That's a standard convention that I do on my VMs. And then we're going to go to dot local <coughs> slash share slash applications and then we're going to give it the same final name which is going to be uh, your bluefish 
dot desktop. Make sure I got that since I had to wrap a line there. All right, we need to enter our password. So there we have it. Now we'll go ahead and CD back over. Let's just do that. Get me back home. CD local slash share slash applications. And now I have a desktop file here called Bluefish. Now we'll notice when I open up the menu, it will give us, it should give us a notice indicating uh, something updated. Maybe it's, I've already done that. Uh, but now what we're going to do is we need to edit this guy. Now you do still need to edit this with administrative pri privileges. So we're going to do sudo nano and bluefish.desktop. So that's kind of what we are going to be doing. All right. Now you want to scroll down to the bottom where you find the exec. So the execution path, I'm just going to do control W E X E hit enter and gets us right back down to where we are at. So here's where we see where it's calling the Bluefish application. What we're going to do is we're going to run this in an envelope instead. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change this line and do execute equals env. And then now we're going to specify the theme by using GTK theme, GTK underscore theme, all capital. And then you select the theme that you would like to use. So I'm going to use breeze, which is the light theme. And then that's all we need to do. No quotes or anything like that. Now we're going to exit out of here, save it. And once we do that, then it will, you'll see it gives us the applications updated there come into our web development, and now our Bluefish will be a light theme, but our um, our other applications are dark theme. Now, one of the challenges that you might find out of the gate here is these icons up here are not matching the, the color because these are still going to the dark theme. What I actually did is I went through my system and I found that if I specify the icons as light theme, none of the other applications on the system seems to really care. And so I resolved this one by just going back into our settings and we had to find, I think it was our, was it um, icons maybe? I forget exactly what it was. I think I just did that is what I ended up doing. Let's close that down, go back up to Bluefish Editor, and that actually got my icons up. And I actually went through every application that I used, and I went through and I double checked that these were not actually having any, any issues or any problems. And uh, this was a way that now I can have my nice icons, ju just the, the nice icons. I have the theme in such a way that's more comfortable to look at for the eyes, but everything else in the system is going to maintain a dark theme. Now you might want to know what, what are the themes that you can use? Well, your themes are found in USR slash share slash themes. So anything in here, so you can do Breeze, Breeze Dark, Default, Emacs, and Raleigh. So you can experiment with all of those different themes to see what this looks like. Now there's one other consideration that you are going to want to do, and that is if you have added any of those to the panel down here. Now I think that these, the default, are just these pinned panels. I take these pinned things off. I think they're annoying and stupid. So I take the pinned panels off of there, and then what I actually just do is I go up and um, I actually go in and right click and then add it to the panel as a widget. So now this is gonna be your traditional quick launch type shortcut. If you have already added these, you're gonna to have to delete it and then re-add the shortcut because this desktop file is utilizing whatever desktop file was in your menu at the time. So if you change it by adding a different theme, you're gonna to wanna to remove your quick launch icon and then re-add it. So there is how we can have a custom theme inside of an application. This here is working just fine on Plasma. That's the production environment I'm testing it on. And according to the documentation, that pretty much should work anywhere else. So there you have it. If you need to run an application in a different theme than the rest of your settings, set, uh, system settings, you're going, oh man, I really want to run the dark theme, but the light application or the light theme in a dark application, you have that option to change and edit that desktop file, not by changing it in the system files, but causing an override in your home directory. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Let me know your thoughts on it. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. 
This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.